Honey, great news. We've been hired to film a commercial for Hunter Killer. What's Hunter Killer? You've never heard of Hunter Killer? It's an incredible company that produces immersive mystery games and experiences. We'll have to try playing it in order to figure out what the commercial should be. Great idea. I'll order one of their murder mystery cases right now. It's so easy. Honey, we've been up all night. We've got to write the commercial for Hunter Killer. Eugene, I cannot write a commercial unless I immerse myself in the world and the product. <laughs> no, who murdered Viola Vane? Was it the stagehand? The wayward fiance? The overbearing mother? The understudy? Oh, justice must be served! It must be served piping hot! <gasps> you fell asleep for 12 minutes last night and kept muttering the phrase, mummified corpse, mummified corpse. That can't be good! No, that means the case must be burrowed into my mind! I'm ready to shoot the commercial! Great! I'll get the camera! <gasps> mummified corpse! Get $10 off your first box with this code. Previously, Previously on, on Headless. Headless. Henry Hudson leaves Amsterdam in the Half Moon with two other ships, the Lichtgevend and the Mitternacht. Oh, and observe. My sea log. <laughs> Lucretia works at the Storm's Inn. It's haunted as heck. And this is Dr. Jeffrey Crayon. He's Sleepy Hollow's physician in chief, and he's also Dufay's husband. How's the landlord? <gasps> She's in a coma. You are sentenced to 50 hours of community service. It's a manuscript from Kat's mom for her next book. You are actually taking her seriously? It's just. I think you should leave. Kat. Get I... out! Cat's mom had some theories on the identity of the horseman. <laughs> also, we found some checks made out to Doc Cran from Balti, but Matilda said it was nothing. Also, uh, we got married. Anne said Crayon was there the night she died. That's not nothing. Wait, I recognize that symbol. Whoa, check this out. It is a curse that is passed from one soul to the next. That means the headless horseman could be anyone. Even someone from modern times. You guys, I put a new head on Headless, and I tried to stop it. Oh God, is he some kind of lunatic? Worse. So, uh, do we have any organ donors in the house tonight? My wife got mad at me because I sawed another woman in half at my magic show. She wasn't jealous, I just did the trick wrong and the woman died and I went to jail for 10 years. <laughs> He's pretty good. It's time for a segment of the show I call Hot Takes with Bruce McConnell. Hot take. Gloria Estefan means Gloria the Stephen in English. Hot take. The rhythm getting ya was a leading cause of death in 1987. I'm more of a Bill Hicks fan. Belts? Why don't you just make pants that fit? No! I have a crippling tomato allergy! This is how I died! Should I do something? No. no. And so our sweet Ichabod cleaned up trash and grime, all so that our Ichabod could atone for his crime. And to top it all off, he's really pissed off his girl, as mysterious clues won't cease to unfurl. So what are you guys in for? We just enjoy keeping our community clean. Yeah, 
We don't need to commit a misdemeanor to do it. God. Ah! <laughs> ah, Doc. <laughs> you, you're in a, a good mood. What's, what's Dufay, um, <clears throat> has, has Dufay? Unfortunately, she's extremely, extremely good. She could wake up at any second. Shh, shh, shh. But I just got off the phone with my lawyer. The papers are official. We are divorced. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Boys, now I'm finally going to get that boat and sail the seven seas. Oh, is this Vuv Click, eh? No, 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 it's the cheap stuff. Don't be ridiculous. Hey! Doll! Where did you come from? I told you, she was a doll that came to life. Did you get the ginger root like I asked for? Ginger root? I thought you said toilet paper. Oh, God, I'm sorry, babe. I'll get it next time. If you get a divorce, I would be honored if you blamed me. Why? She's sweet. The symbol from Elizabeth Van Tassel's manuscript. It's also in Gravy Davy's sea log. And look at this. I came to Tarrytown in search of legendary treasure, but when I seen the figure of a man atop a horse without his bow, it became too much. This man is not flesh or blood, but hellish creature from foul beyond. That's you, right? And this entry is dated 1622, which means you've been around way longer than the Revolutionary War. What's this? Oh. That was folded up in the treasure chest. It's a piece of an old map. There's writing around the edges, but it's cut off, and I don't know where the rest of it could be. I do. Wrong. Where's our marriage certificate? I got it framed. I thought it'd be something special. We could open it together and celebrate, and then once it's all gone, you... No! You know, we could have just taken it back if you didn't like the rose gold. This was in Baltus's office. Looks like Latin, can you read it? We still have a bunch of heads left. Maybe one of them is like a Latin teacher or a school teacher or a scuba diver. No, or... no, no, we're not using any more heads. They're only causing trouble. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Bing. Ew. Those seeking to slay the headless beast will find the answers where the learned women be. The school. Nope, because that wasn't built until 1933. Told you, I'm a history spurt. Ooh, yes, the library. <laughs> I always say, women be reading. You know, chewing on ice can be indicative of a larger problem like anemia. That's glass. We are putting up an announcement of our brand new production of Oliver on the bulletin board outside. We're doing you a favor by taking down these old ratty flyers. And that boy isn't missing. He clearly ran off to Hollywood. But that bone structure, uh, uh, hey, give it to me straight, you guys. Do I have what it takes to be an actor? Well, you've got that glassy-eyed Midwestern farm boy charm that I had when I started in this industry five years ago, when I was eight. All right, thank you, everyone, but we are a little busy, so oh, if you could... Oh, it's fine. The auditions don't actually matter. No, Trevor is playing all the roles. It's a radical reboot of the original text into a one-man show. One-boy show. <laughs> Where the learned women be? Storms Inn used to be an orphanage. Annika Storms was a teacher. I'm sensing the focus of this scene is moving away from us. Yes, let's go. And then Millie looked at me. Trevor! Stop telling people that Millie Bobby Brown looked at you. It was a Stranger Things t-shirt on another boy. God damn it! <sighs> you know? 
Last trivia night, Lucretia kept saying how she couldn't do construction in the basement because it was unstable. I'll bet my alpaca sweater vest that the head is underneath Storm's Inn. I'll head her up tomorrow. Lukey and I are pretty close. No, you cannot see the basement. I am fully booked for a wedding today. You cannot see anything. If I see you or your band of weirdos here today, I will carve your eyeballs out. There are 200 ways I could do it using only what's on my person at this second. Hey, when was this taken? I don't remember. It was a really nice day. This is one of the ships in Henry Hudson's fleet. No go. Lucretia threatened to murder me. I don't think I fully processed how scared I am. No, we have to get in. We are so close to this nightmare being over. You, uh, rang boss? <clears throat> and Mrs. Boss? All right, babes. We need someone that can get us into Storm's Inn. No, no. Matilda, no. No more heads. All right, just go watch the door. Make yourself useful. Tell him, hon. Everyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and stop. I can't believe her. The disrespect. I went grave robbing for her. I, I went to court because of her. I'm being haunted by a headless ghost and my crushes. <gasps> Cat. Hi. I wanted to say I'm sorry for freaking out on you the other night. It's a lot to take in. Um, I never told you what happened to my mom, but my dad lied. He said she drowned, but last year I found out. I just can't deal with losing another parent. It's okay. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. Oh, he definitely needs to be sorry. This gives a whole new meaning to the term habeas corpus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the first meaning, so that joke is lost on me. Ooh, uh, what about Polly Tahoe? You boys got the Polly Tahoe? Yeah, his family had him buried in Sleepy Hollow so his enemies couldn't dig him up and defile his corpse like we just did. Who the hell is Polly Tahoe? <laughs> oh, boys, somebody hook wifey up with a Tahoe tail. All right, check it out. One time, Polly Tahoe smuggled an entire slot machine out of the Morongo Casino in broad daylight. Polly Tahoe refused to ever wear the same suit twice. And get this, Polly Tahoe was the reason Ben Affleck and JLo broke up. And why they got back together. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, well. Okay. All right, that settles it. Bring me the head of Polly Tahoe. Told my ex-wife I was out of the business, but who can say no to a final job? I just have one question. This is high or low.